Hello there everyone! Welcome to another episode of this Eyes and Gods campaign where we are against Mordor. We captured Brithil, we destroyed the Nazgul. That's always good. That's always nice, guys. And now we are reinforcing, of course, the Brithil uh, idea. I'm going to build more units than I actually need to to reinforce. Just, uh, well, just because. Just because you do need that. Um, I'm going to go with the army of Saruman into Pelargil. I believe. Uh, actually, should I move it right now? He's gonna take two turns if I move him right away. I could maybe just have one unit of Urkai Raider there. Can I move them away? Let me check. No, I can't move them away. Well, I guess I'm gonna stay put for a little bit. It's fine, guys, it's fine. If I don't capture it immediately. However, we are going to have a Siege of Minas Tirith against a unit. I just want you guys to see the city. Uh, there's no way that I'm gonna wait for them to have a full stack and then attack a full stack. Sorry guys, I do want to win the the the, the war, you know? In, in war you do what, what do you need to, to, to accomplish the, their deaths, you know? So yeah, I will have of course some fights in uh, Care Andrews in other uh, nice fortress, but for now let's just watch. The the white city. The Minas Tirith right there. Captain Lumthag. Poor Captain. Poor Captain right there. Let's fight it out. It's Ugluk who is going to capture the, the white city. So Isengard actually destroying Rohan. Managing to... Uh, or helping out against the destruction of Gondor. Going against Mon uh, Mordor. I think you, uh, you will love this campaign for a long time. Oh, it's sunny! Look at that! Oh, it's sunny! Oh wow! That's just a massive city. Look at this! It's just so beautiful. Like they managed to do it. Look, one, two, three. I, I just would like the trebuchets here. <laughs> I don't care. I would like them. Um. I don't know if I have... well, I do have the catapults. If I have enough to destroy the gates and the towers and such, but... Yeah. That's actually a nice idea here. This this tower, this building here, avoids the destruction of the towers unless I position them correctly. So we would need to go through this area here. Oh, come on. Pathfinding. Then through this area here. Yeah. Then through here. Yeah. Here as well, let's go, let's check it out. One, it's not easy here. Okay, there we go. That's a gate. You actually have to destroy the gate to reach that side. I don't know if they will be here. If they are, I don't know how to reach that, actually. Is there any gate down here that leads over there? It seems not. So, well, I, do, I just hope it doesn't crash, guys. Let's position my catapults in a good spot. And ballistas, of course. Group up. I have a bomb thrower. That's good. The bomb throwers have actually helped me out immensely. You know, especially against Rohan. They, uh, they have been like, around against Rohan and Gondor. And now, uh, in that battle against Gondor, that huge battle against Gondor, they were detrimental. And now against uh, uh, Mordor, they're actually doing quite well. You know, they, you didn't watch that on the last episode because I couldn't. Uh, I was I was uh, diversed in. Um, I, I had a diversion in another place, but they were they were actually managing quite well against the um, the um, the Nazgul. They destroyed a lot of them, even though I lost many war riders because of it. Okay, and you're gonna be here. That's it. Okay, start the battle. They appear to be right there, right? No. They are somewhere. Somewhere around here. Oh, he there you are. <laughs> okay, so I can just open the gates. Come on, fast forward. I want to open the gates and send my Snaga Stalkers over there. Actually, I'm gonna have my uruk Archers in the towers, or in the walls trying to do the damage. Ok, 
Okay, catapults, finally. Catapults... A, a catapult hit will do a lot of damage to that. Are, is he lowering his troops? It seems so, by the, the looks of it. Yeah, he's actually moving them o over here. Which is kind of good. For me. Good! Who needs that... Uh, that burning dog, you know? The gates fell down pretty easily. Auto fire? Nah. Nothing like that. Let me move these guys, these archers, into their walls. That's it. Run, run, run. Snagger stalkers, you're gonna be here. Let's cause them to, to come over against me. I'm gonna use my Uruk bomb throwers, of course. So everyone run in, and the rest of the units, I'm actually not gonna use them. There's, there's no point. I, mean, I captured the gateway with my Urukai archers. He seems to be going up, right? Yeah, he is going up. So it's gonna take a while. Since we <laughs> we gotta get to this point right there. So okay, Urukai archers, certainly. Where are you? You're gonna move here. You're gonna move there. And the bomb throwers are gonna move there. That's it. Let's run. They are gonna be exhausted, but so are their units. I need to make them run because this is gonna take quite a while. Let's just follow them. Go, do, go, go, go. Run, run, run. Run, run, run. Run, run, run. Okay, the... Oh, the bomb throwers are actually going really fast. These guys are so fast. Come on. There we go. There we go. Exhausted already. Yeah, I know. Oh, you completed the objective. They are actually here. So I'm going to position you on the walls. I think you can actually position these walls. No, you can't. Doesn't look like it. Okay, so let's just position you here. Stalkers. Get over there. Oh, this is building. Okay. Oh, my archers are shooting. Oh, I'm glad I actually blocked. My actual archers are shooting through the rocks. <laughs> I didn't know it was possible. Maybe I can set up my archers be on the other front. Hmm. Maybe? Uh, not sure, not sure. Where is this going through? Yeah. There's the axis right there. There's the, that's the axis point right there. Okay, so it's archers. Let's move you. Well, you're not gonna have auto fire, certainly. You're not gonna have that auto fire. Uh, I guess you're in a good position. Let's move you there. Let's move you there. Let's move you here. Come on, bomb throwers. I'm just seeing if they're actually moving out. They are not. They do not seem to be. So let's go into the other side of the hill. That's it. And I'm going to use my bomb throwers against them. Come on. They're going to go through this gate. I'm six. Let's stop that. You can shoot them now. Let's stop. Okay. Come on. Shoot them. That's nice. Many have fallen. They're certainly going to try and attack me. Actually, not quite. Okay, the, there's a little bug here, but well, it's it was to be expected. You know, this is really hard to to set up. You know. It seems like he doesn't want... He d wants to run away, so I'm just going to move my archers here. He doesn't want to engage, so I can move my infantry after. Let's keep my archers moving forward. Times two. You're going to do a lot of damage. Come on. No? They aren't being able to attack them, actually. Stop. Can you shoot? No, they actually are not shooting. I don't know why. 
Let, let's send in the Snugger Stalkers. Why not? Hmm. Come on. Stalkers. Fast forward. Go, go, go. I know they are Orc Raiders, but they will lose against these Stalkers. As expected. Oops. Let's try to get a few of them with the Archers. Bomb throwers, get over there. Snuggers, just move here, move here. Fast forward. Let's get a few shots. No. Doesn't look like it. Come on, fast forward. Bomb throwers, go here. Come on, get over there. Oh, there they go. Now we are th here, actually. There they have opened the gates, I believe. It's on this side. Yeah, that's the gate. Right there. Okay, so move the Snaga Stalkers here. I was never expecting to to climb all the way down. <sighs> Panth. Uh, it's not easy. I go over there. Move you in position to shoot them. I'm actually going to move the archers here. They can deploy on the near the white tree there. Okay, where are the bomb throwers? There you are. Good. Bomb throwers, you're gonna be here. Run. Fast forward. Come on, just don't charge them, will you? Snaggers, go here. Oh, they're wavering. Especially with the. <laughs> Look at this side effect. Very nice. Come on. Can you sh keep shooting? Keep shooting. Come on, don't engage in melee. Shoot them. Come on, bombers. Come on, you bombers. Okay, bomb throwers, come on, get over there. Archers actually get here. Get over there. Fast forward, where are they? That's it, bomb throwers, get over there. Come on! Get on their backs so we can do maximum damage. Now you can do the deck. Go! Let's watch it! I never get tired of this. So 89 to... 40 to... 20... Yeah, I guess I can do a little bit more. 27... 14, and let's wait. You're not going to shoot anymore. The rest of you guys, charge them. Charge in melee, even. We're controlling the white city. And there is none left. One. Good. We won. 71 men lost. A lot of time to do this, actually. 194 killed by the Uric Bomb Throwers. Good. Not an easy uh, city to besiege, as you've seen. Uh, there's there are many pathfinding issues. Uh, the city would need to be uh, huge so that there will be room for everything. You know, double or triple roads or something like that. Although it wouldn't be accurate because it, it's actually quite cramped up there. Okay, Minas Tirith is ours. Let's occupy. I could loot, but I want to occupy. Yeah, I think this was actually Mordor's capital. <laughs> the Blade of Mordor. Okay. So now, one thing. I can still attack something else, like Westus Giliath. I could attack Westus Giliath, actually. Or Care Andrus. But they, they are actually capable of attacking me. I could go with a few units to Karasast. No, they won't be able to reinforce that one. I uh, could go against Care Andrus as well. I, well, if I do take Westos Gilead, that would be nice. If I take Care Andrus as well, I can draw them out, of course. Yeah, but they would attack here, so I need both Westos Gilead and Care Andrus. I guess I'm going to defend here for just a turn or so. Uh, oh, I can immediately start recruiting units as soon as they are able to 
Repair the huge city. Good. Retrain a few units. That's nice. Very nice. Very nice. And my money problems are solved. That's good. That's good to hear. So I'm actually going to recruit troops. Nice. Well, actually, no. Let's recruit them back here. That's it. Where it does matter. You guys, come on, you guys. You're gonna go down, you're gonna go down, you're gonna go over there. Uh, the siege of Underdreath now? It's a small siege, why not? Let's assault. I think there's only one unit there. And then the siege of Tidith and Wien, of course. Radzag, that's a seven star general. That's nice. What's his bodyguard? Uh, okay. <laughs> this is bad because the upkeep, as you can see, is 3,000, guys. It's 3,000 upkeep. I don't know if I should actually kill this guy because it's giving him troubles. You know? 3,000 upkeep. My god, you can. Re that's the whole army that I have. Easily. Okay, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna fight them out. I'm gonna fight them out. Let's fight Mumakil. So the title for this this uh, episode is going to be Minasiris and Mumakil, so that you get confused. No, I'm kidding. I'll probably say uh, climb you, silly bastard, or something like that. That's gonna be the the title for it. Okay, start deployment. Okay, so catapults will be detrimental. And the ballistas, of course. You can see that I... You're gonna see that you can actually kill these guys pretty easily. Uh, anyone who can set up stakes... I know that Mumakil are immune to them, but I'll still position them. Can't you set up the stakes? Oh, it's because of the road. Okay. It's the road, Jack. That's just an extra protect protection there. It doesn't kill Mumakil, I believe, but it does slow them down. And what am I going to have to hold on the charge? <laughs> of course, you know, you use them for this purpose, guys. That's why you use them. It's to die. The rest of my uh, good infantry is going to be really far away. So raiders, these guys, let me check a good way of post positioning my units. That's it. That's gonna be the future type of army. You know, pikemen. I really like to hold pikemen in reserve. And the war riders, of course. And the general here. So ballistas. Just out of fire. Uh, no fire ammunition. That's it. Then we have the mighty Mumakil. Can't you hit? No one can hit him, huh? Fast forwards. There they are. Can't you hit them? Really? They're so big. They're so big. Why can't you hit them? Oh, they're close. Close enough. That's way too close for comfort. Or way too... Not too close for comfort. The opposite. Let's just position my Snaga Stalkers in position so they can actually deal with them if they go forward. Let's watch the elephants die. They're so cute. Oh, look at his eyes. Come on. That's a catapult shot. Come on. And that's a ballista shot, actually. It's going to do a lot of damage. Yeah, ballistas kill them really effectively, as you can see. Come on, stop your movement and start attacking them. 67 units, well... Well, he is attacking, I believe it's my Snaga Stalkers. Okay... Okay, guys, so let's position you here. Come on, fast forward. Position there, and start attacking them. You're gonna be in foot flaming ammo. Come on, fire them at will. Come on. Fast forward. 
little bit forward. Come on. That's it. Now you can shoot him. Can't you? I can't. Okay, I can now. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six movement kill. Okay, so there are seven, usually. Okay, catapults. Just hit them. At least the catapult shot doesn't look like a ballista shot that really wouldn't kill a movement kill, I believe. Well, it might. It might have. Go faster. How many archers are here, actually? Well, let me pause because I can't count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 13. Oh, 13. That's, that's an unlucky number, I gotta tell you. Come on. Come on, ballistas and catapults. Don't miss. Come on, ballista. One less. You've seen it. <laughs> what? What? Like the worthless animals? What? What is going on? They oh, they are running a mock. Oh, that's the deal. Well, it would just be a, a slaughter if I didn't. So sorry, guys. That's that's how you kill the <laughs> moment kill, I guess. End the battle. Men lost three. I've had worse sieges, you know. So okay, that's that's kind of sad. But we take we take the city, yay, and we killed the general. <laughs> yeah, Mumikil should be on the field. I don't know why the hell he, he wasn't using them on the field. But I wasn't checking if they had any generals with that, actually. So, the Siege of Tirith Undwin. That's going to be our main concern. Occupy the settlement. It's been a while since we wanted this. Amonhen reached and falls of... Uh, I don't know. That's, that's the deal here. These two things there. Uh, town? Uh, do I have anything that I can... Seed of Seeing? Chicken farming? It doesn't do actually anything for me, but I can't dis dismantle it. The brothel? No. Or breeder? Ballist maker? Oh, that's, that's fine, actually. I have good stuff here. can retrain some, get some stuff. So, army. I'm gonna leave that behind. And... Gonna leave that behind, and you're gonna go down or up? I'm guessing down, actually. That's it. You're gonna reinforce with someone, an Urukai raider, I believe, and a Snaga stalker. That's it. I captured the city, so that's why I have some more money. And you're gonna siege Tirith Anduin. Let's assault it. Good. Mountain trolls in all look high and some other stuff, but no archers. <laughs> this should be bloody. And that's a 10 star general on my side. So good, 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 good. I'm loving this initial strike at Mordor, but I'm terrified of how many stacks they, he's, he can have, you know? Mordor usually can have about 10 stacks just with their initial settlements. So, he should have about 15, I believe. I destroyed one of them, so let's count 14 now. Yeah, that's actually a nice settlement to snipe, even with Olag High. I'm gonna use on this side, I don't care about the gates. Well, I, I'll actually destroy, of course, the gates. Archers, certainly. Move here. Deploy the stakes. Actually, don't apply the stakes. Uh, you don't need the stakes against the Ola guy. They don't do anything at all. Reavers and raiders and reavers and raiders and reavers and raiders with berserkers on the support. So, reavers uh, and raiders, reavers and raiders, reavers and raiders and berserkers. That's the deal. Good. The best troops behind this guy here. I believe I can do any everything with the siege weapons if he's not careful. Yeah, whipping. <laughs> let's whip all men. Okay, let's have them like this. Not too spread out because of the Olakai, of course. Okay. Good. Where are his Olakai? There you are. So, should I strike at the gates? I believe I'm going to use the catapults against the gates. These ballistas are going to start shooting his Olak High. Also, let's try the fire 
against the Olakai. I don't know how good the fire launchers or the fire rockets will be against the Olakai. Let's see. Let's check it out. They do send a lot of shots there. Oh, he's stepping on his own men. Oh, and they're so clumped up. Maybe my fire launchers will do a lot of damage. His gate is going to take some damage. 20% right now. Let me see my fire launchers. Come on. Can't wait to see that. There you go. Each one is like a ballista shot. A little bit weaker. Come on. Let's go. Oh, nice! They killed two in one shot. That was quite good. Okay, actually, you're gonna stop and hit the Oleg High. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care for the gate. I'm pretty sure that I'll have no troubles against it. Come on. Start shooting those guys, Mountain Trolls and Oleg High. As soon as they're dead, then it's fine. So, times two. Come on, ballistas and other stuff. Rocket launchers. Come on. Nice, one unit destroyed. The fire launchers are not hitting anything. There he is, he's coming in. Come on. Okay. Gotta make sure they won't reach me. Come on, ballistas. Two out of one shot there. That's it. Siege weapons, guys. They are OP. Here, fire launchers, that's it. Hit him, hit him. It's a lot of shots, come on. Kill them. Uh, I'm gonna have to move my infantry, damn it. Run in. I'll just shoot him. Oh, you guys just retreat. That's it. Come on, blisters, one last shot. No, they're not gonna be able to do so. Blisters, get out of there. You just shoot the other trolls. Where are they? They're dead? Actually, I, I believe I killed them all. Oh, no, there they are. So, there they are, the Olakai. Let's attack with all of them. My archers are just attacking the spearmen. Doesn't matter. This ballista unit is retreated. This guy are... Oh, these guys are retreated. Bulli uh, catapults should actually start hitting those. Start hitting those. The Olakai will die easily. Even though there are eight, let me whip my man. Come on. Slay the Olakai. I know I will lose more men than I wanted, but these orc bands are not uh, anything against them. Urukai. Come on, start shooting those guys. Can you move through towards there? Yes, you can. The other ballistas are moving through. The Olakai are still fighting. Still strong. Lost about 50 men there. Still, they are quite injured, so they s should start dying. Yeah, seven of them now. Come on, try to run away. If they run away, or if they try to run away, they will just die easier. That's it, so... Seven, six, five, I believe. Yeah, now they are five, I believe. Good, Belisa, start shooting those mountain trolls. You still can't position over there. The Olakai are five now. They're soon to be only two because these guys are quite wounded, as you can see. I'm liking my Urukai Raiders, they're doing a fine job against them. And my archers are destroying everything else. My catapults are dealing some damage against the mountain trolls. These orc bands will not engage me soon. So there are now three. Or oh, actually the other two died uh, easily. One. There are only two left. They killed like 60 men. I guess I can send you now to the blister. They should be dead soon. They are very powerful, but they are no trouble against my units. Even my infantry can deal with them easily. I told you, because I have, like, it's good infantry. 
you know, even the weakest light infantry. Yeah, he died there, and this guy should be dying soon. There you go, orc bands right there. These guys are hitting those. It's nice. Let's just stop it a little bit. Shoot these orc bands. These guys. Oh, there they go. They died. So I can position you forward if needs be. Let's actually position you a little bit forward. We need to attack these orc bands. You guys are going to go here. This ballista is going to go here. That's it. You can shoot these Uruks. You can pick up the ballista because all of these units charging these orc bands, they're going to rout. That's why I actually didn't use anything else. You grab the catapults, will you? That's nice. Now, auto fire and fire with this. Hit the Yorks. No. Catapults, come on. You're shaken. You should be more than shaken. That's it. They are marching out. So I'm going to stop all of them and just use these guys. Group, you're going to stay here. Shift one. Run in position. You guys, you're going to go back. I don't need you more. Archers are here in position. You are going to fire at will. Actually, not fire at will. Fire at the Uruks. You ballistas, you're going to move here. The other ballistas are going to shoot the trolls. Can they? Yes, they are. Fast forward, come on. That's it. Shoot the mountain trolls. That's it. Good. You guys are going to keep here. Run in position. Come on. Got to remember that the gates are still not open. Okay. Try to try to hit the mountain trolls with a fireball. Nice. Very good. Ballistas. Come on. Fast forward. Good. Very nice shot from the ballistas. Oh, mountain trolls are so easy. So easy. The Oleg High are the units that you really want to skewer with the Ballista Shot. Oh, barely. But when they miss, they hit something. Very close. Nice. One extra snipe. Come on. Once they're dead, I'll actually... Yeah, there they are. They died. So I'll actually use these ballistas with the fire ammunition. Fire with the fire ammunition. Let's hit the Moran and Guard right there. Whoa, 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 whoa. Certainly not you. I'm gonna try to hit those guys. I'm gonna try to hit those guys. Whip them! Let's use my Berserkers, because they do have a lot of good damage against this Moran and God. Come on. I know that defeat seems certain. They actually, the Uruk Reavers, they do a lot of damage as well. Come on. Certainly don't use the fire now. No point there. You're still using that fire, that's fine. Wavering, as soon as they route, it's good because I'm gonna capture a lot of them. Come on. Uh, barely able to miss. Come on, wavering. Shaken, wavering goes back and forth, I gotta say. You guys can shoot those others. Now they're broken. Good. They're broken, so they'll die easily. They're gonna be captured here. Hit those Orc Raiders. Yeah, I captured all of that. Who would say? Come on, push forward, push forward, push forward, push forward. I'm actually not telling to attack. 
just telling them to move and that will cause them to rout. Yeah, just tell them to move away. That's much better, guys. I'm gonna wait a little bit because I don't want any more casualties on these guys. Certainly don't want these ones. Especially while my ballistas are still attacking. They still have ammunition. Actually, these guys are gonna go here. Run in position, run, 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 run. Come on, time six. Let's keep an eye on the minimap. That's it. There's still a few units. You know, a few orc raiders and such. It seems to go over there. These Uruks are going to keep firing on them. These guys as well. These guys as well. I'm going to charge the orc raiders there. These guys will stay in reserve. Actually, you're going to stay here. Run. Fast forward. Well, not fast forward. Two times. Or craters are dying against my berserkers. Yeah, surely they do a lot of damage. They also suffer a lot, I gotta say. We killed the general. Nice. That means this unit's gonna be shaken. Shaky, shaky. There they go. Broken. Routing. It's times two, guys. That's why they are running so fast. But I'm capturing a lot of them. That's it. Run over there. What's missing here? A few men. Stop you. I don't want to have any losses due to the ballista shots actually go over there. Urukai Raiders. Yeah, you're gonna fire. Them. You're gonna attack them. Okay, time to stop you, actually. I believe I can do everything else without your influence. Thank you very much, ballistas and such. Stop, stop, stop. Good. Now, let's actually attack. Shall we? That's it. What have I lost? 6% men. Let's see the charge. Come on. Yeah, these are orc bands. These are spearmen. Go, go, go. Fast, fast, fast. Ugh. Nice, berserkers. How about on the Moran and God right there? Yeah, they won't last for long. Losing badly. How about here? Charge them over there, the Uruks. These are Uruks, not Uruk High. There go my Reavers. Come on, Reavers, you have pole axes. You should do a lot of damage against these Uruks. Did you manage to kill them? Nice. Managed to kill them? Nice. And they are dead, nine of them. Good. Six of them, four. Three, two, one. I believe they are dead. One. And that's it. Very nice battle, guys. And very nice episode. Hmm. Clear victory. Good. Good. Ballistas killed a lot of men. Urukai Raiders, <laughs> mostly. <laughs> and the archers as well. Oh, well. We did capture quite a lot in this uh, single turn, I gotta say. Now, one, two, three, four settlements. Destroy the Mumu Kill. Destroy two units of trolls, you know, and uh, some other stuff. So, yeah. This made my territory much better, much larger, actually. Okay. Let's see how good Tear the Endwin is. Because it, it is a large town, I gotta say. Yeah. Repair the settlement. Good. You can recruit some Urukai raiders there, so that's fine. It's gonna be fine. Let's merge, and I lost about a unit 
of Urukai Raiders, which I can replenish soon. Very nice episode, guys. So, yeah, and I can still build up some good units here. Something like this will be better. That's it. Very nice. So, I'll see you guys on the next episode. There won't be any further movements, so that will be the end turn. Probably Minas Tirith will be under siege, but this guy can reach in about two turns. Uh, certainly Saruman is going to move into Pelargir and then Karasast. Or he's going to move into Pelargir and then the other town here, Tir Ithraid. Tir Ithraid. That's going to be interesting. Let's actually move here and check how this is. Is this a Mumakil? Lok Gamprim. Interesting. Good. So, yep. Yeah. Don't forget to like this uh, Mordor uh, fight, guys. Cheers!